Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. We have a trick question over here. Let's do an analysis and see how we go about solving this one. To send your own questions, please consider subscribing our channel. The trick in solving this type of problem is this. Try not get tangled into the words. What the words are just setting up the equations. If you can have a concentrated effort knowing what the variable is, we're looking for the h over here, and knowing how many variables you have, that determines how many equations you need. In our case, we're looking for h, and we're giving this whole distance between the two spots as three miles. If I let a little bit, a portion of it to, to be x, then I have two variables, and then I'm looking for two equations to tie those two variables together. Well, one of the equations we can have is this little triangle on the side with a 68 degrees. I wrote, written it out over here. h over x is tangent of 68 for this part. The other equation, since I'm concentrating on finding another equation that would tie the two variables together, the other one is I have h and 36 degrees over here. The distance over here is 3 minus x since this part is the x now I have two equations and two unknowns I should be able to solve for h let's get to it all right so here's my two equations uh, since I am only interested in the h I figured I'll get rid of the x so I use the first equation to say x is equal to h over tangent of 68 once I know what the x is, I substitute it into the equation 2 here. This is the white part over here. So 3 minus the x equal to tangent to 36. Now notice I only have one variable over here. It's a little bit buried, but um, it's something we can solve since this is one variable, one equation. And what I did over here is I multiplied the denominator tangent to 68 on top and bottom in hope to get rid of it. So the first term becomes h times tangent 68. The second term over here, I do have the distributed in here. The first term becomes 3 times tangent 68. Second term is where the tangent 68 is going to cancel out. That's why I left it with h term only. On the right hand side, I have tangent of 36. Now that this variable over here, this equation is a little bit easier. Tangent 68, the reason I didn't turn it into decimal is it's messy to write. So I just tag this one along. It's a little bit tedious, but bear with me. So what we're going to do is gather all the terms with variable h. There's this term over here, and tangent 36 times h is on this side. And if I move it to the left-hand side, I'm going to add the term over here. Down the right-hand side, all it's left is tangent 36 times tangent 68 times 3. Now all I have to do is pull the h out, which is the coefficient tangent 30, 68, plus tangent 36, and then I'm going to divide it on the right-hand side. Uh, in the end, I just evaluate it once. It's roughly 1.68 miles. Well, I hope this one helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment, share, or like this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.